Hi everyone, Steve Highland from Highland Train Studios. Uh, this is going to be a quick tip on how I do some brickwork on my new build here. Uh, I'm building a little, little two-store shopping, you know, plaza thing for this zombie city build. Uh, so I wanted to show you how I do shingles. As you all know, that uh, I, I love I, I carve things. I don't. As much as I can, I'll, I'll carve the stuff out of the foam board instead of gluing stuff to it if I can. So, I wanted to show you guys what I do. So first off, as you can see, I measured about a quarter of an inch and drilled the lines across. And what I'll do now is, is you'll go like this, and I'll score these all the way across, like so. Don't worry, they're not perfect. Shingling ain't perfect. Okay. Next, I'll go in and cut these as an angle. Now, I've already done these three, so as you can see, as I'll, I'll, I went in on an angle. So just to show you, I'll cut this one on an angle. And the high, of course, you got the high corner here. You don't want to cut that off. You want to cut down like so. And they don't have to be perfect. I mean, the best thing to have is a, a nice, a new knife laid on here to get the best cut. Okay. And peel that piece off like so. I guess this one wasn't cut all the way down like I wanted. Purpose of having a nice new, new blade. Okay, just like that. And then. The first row I measured out half inch, and then everything else after that will be freehand. That way it'll mix it up, and I'll just go like this, and I cut these little notches out. If you get, you could also achieve this effect right here uh, with like a Dremel. You know, you put a nice little small. Like engraving tip on it, and just go bzz, 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 all the way across. So, so you guys understand? You guys got the the gist of what I got going on here with uh, the shingling here. So, and what I like to do now is uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll score all the way across here, and then I'll, I'll cut this out so it'll look like that. So you got this little ledge, like so. And then I made this other line here so you can see the separation between the board and the shingles. I didn't do it on the side yet, but okay. And the next thing is I do is I'll get some 100 grade sandpaper and just gently run it across there. And when you do that, as you can see, it gives us a nice little texture for dry brushing. Great texture. Um, so there is my quick tip on uh, how I make shingling. Uh, so uh, let me grab my building real quick here. To show you guys. Whoa, here we go. There we go. Right here you see my sidewalks, uh, parking lot here. I've got some parking spots in front of the building. And, and this is going to be the shingles board. I haven't glued it down so it keeps sliding. So. Check it out and see some of those during during uh, sanding ripped off. But hey, those can be it's a weathering effect, you know. That's why you do the sandpaper. It rips little pieces off here and there like it was torn. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Look at it from the side. So... All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick tip on how I do shingles. And until next time, comment, subscribe, like. I hope you all enjoy this uh, quick tip.